So how did the drought affect you? So, Dracula was out of water. This so-called drought went on for five, six weeks. No drinking water. Water fountains on every floor, but nothing coming out of them. Having to deal with wet paper that said out of order every day. And then you'd still go and, like, try to see if it worked, but it never worked. Never worked. We had a lot of water bottles in our room, which, that helped, but uh, we never really realized how much we used water until the water fountain shut off. So you'd either have to go down, maybe to the North Rec, get some water, but that's just a trek. Or you could buy water from our overly priced sea stores. Also a trek. Really, there was a, it was a lose-lose situation for the students in Dracut. We would go to the hallway, and we'd be like, oh shit, there's no water. So then, we'd have to make the hike down to the first floor, fill up our water bottles, and I was just getting really tiring. And then one day, the newscasters showed up at our front porch. I was in shock. I was like, wow, they're really just interviewing over how there's no drinking water? Then I got an email. Apparently, one of the students in Dracut got some disease, and then the news started reporting on it, and it just got blown out of proportion. Everyone was freaking out. Then I got an email. Students in Dracut have contracted Legionnaire's disease. And I thought to myself, wow, Legionnaire's disease. I'm going to go on WebMD. So I looked on WebMD. It's a pretty rare disease, less than 20,000 cases per year. And that kind of sucks. So I'm like, oh, wow. Looks like we got Legionella in our water. And I'm just sitting here thinking, I've been drinking this. I've been showering in this. I've been brushing my teeth with this water. Does it include the shower water? I don't know. They didn't tell us. They didn't tell us any of the information until the news showed up. They found out that the water didn't have Legionnaire's disease or whatever it was. And so that was good. And then there were three days. The water was back. And I was as happy as could be. Filling up my water bottle all willy-nilly like... <clears throat> it was amazing. They turned the water back on for a couple days. We we're all like, all right, this is awesome. And then they shut it back off and we're like, this sucks. Back to the huge. And then it was gone again. And I couldn't have been more frustrated. It's not fun spending your first eight weeks at college without water. It's truly not fun. The dehydration, the dehydration it was unbearable. Just simply unbearable. They turned the water back on, and now we can use our uh, water fountains in our hallways. So we don't have to go down to the first floor. Don't have to go to Scott. Don't have to go to the North Rec. Just got to go to our hallways, get us our water. Now that we have water back, I truly, truly realize that I took water for granted before I came here. Tap water at home? I had good tap water in my house. Tap water here, it's not very tasty. Can't drink it. Mm. But the water fountain water here, it's good. It tastes good. This bond between us can't be broken. I will be here, don't you cry. Cause you will be in my heart. Yes, you